It's your brother, Larry Adeneko, and welcoming you to the Really, Really Knowing God channel. I'm bringing you vital enrichment in the knowledge of God, all powered by the Pastor Larry Adeneko Center for Education. It's the Daily Gem Devotional, making you a gem to your generation and a gem soon upon the crown of Jesus Christ. We are sharing truth this morning on old school faith versus modern day faith. Coming from Hebrews chapter 11, 35b to the end of that chapter. Shall we pray together now? Father, bless your name of God for the spirit of wisdom and of revelation and the knowledge of you. Lord, <clears throat> thank you because you have granted us unto us who got so much so well here and we are grateful this morning again we trust to god that you help at that which we do in jesus mighty name we pray amen and amen hallelujah all right hebrews um, 11 we read up to 35 but we call it 35a uh, when where it says women received their dead raised to life again so 35b now others were tortured not accepting deliverance that they might obtain a better resurrection still others had a trial of mockings and scourgings yes and of chains and imprisonment they were stoned they were sawn in two they were tempted they were slain with a sword they wandered about in sheepskin and goatskin being destitute afflicted tormented of whom the world was not worthy they wandered in deserts and mountains in dens and caves of the earth all this having obtained a good testimony through faith did not receive the promise god having provided something better for us that it should not be made perfect apart from us okay then so <clears throat> you're talking about uh, a people of faith that was what is the entire hebrews 11 is all about began with faith and then began to give us hero what we call heroes of faith now when it gets to this uh, 35 uh, uh, before 35 we spoke about what people did they did some fantastic things you know subdued kingdom walked righteousness obtained promises stopped the mouth of lions quenched the violence of fire escaped the edge of the sword out of weaknesses were made strong waxed valiant in battle returned to flight armies of aliens women received their dead rise raised to life again that is uh, a set that he gave us the second set now he now said others they were tortured they did not accept deliverance that he might obtain a better resurrection we'll come back to that later and then give some other ones trial of mockings and scourgings that's beating you know uh very very terrible beating chains and imprisonment they were stoned they were sawn into they were tempted they were slain with the sword they wandered about in sheepskin and ghosting being destitute afflicted all this <laughs> he was talking about people of faith he gave us a first set that we say these people were fantastic and they did fantastic things and then this second set they had a lot of misfortunes a lot of contrary things a lot of things that were adverse in nature i mean uh, adversities if you, if you love okay and all that now it says some of them were tortured they, they refused to accept deliverance that they might obtain a better resurrection this is interesting okay so we will, we will talk about that but then all kinds of things happen to these people honestly if you look at these things they don't go with the kind of things we expect today when they say somebody is a person of faith <laughs> what we expect when when they say somebody is a person of faith is some is somebody when he speaks the whole the whole hall you know quakes and when he when he when he just stretches hands he stretches his hands only without even touching you, people fall under the anointing and people get healed and the dead get raised and the, all those things are fantastic believe me and he you know spoke about how god has said something to him and uh, something that was totally uh, seemingly impossible but god virtually bringing honey out of a rock for him fantastic and we clap for all those things but these all that aspects we don't look at them as faith especially in our present age wherein our human rights and, and and this and that is so very very important to us and it says something to me about our kind of christianity i was saying somewhere um in january that i found out that some of us the way we were brought up our christianity the way we were raised was to be rugged to be robust to be um, um difficult to shake you know that was the way we were raised up and, but that the christianity i see nowadays is what i call the flimsy type the posh you know type of thing living a dainty life you know those that are delicately dressed and who are in soft clothing you know <laughs> you know that's the kind of thing that i see now and we look at if we look at these examples here 
Somebody who was tortured, was he operating in faith? Somebody who had a trial of mockings and, and beatings and of chains and imprisonment, was he a hero of faith? But the Bible con- counts these people as heroes of faith, just like he was counting Abraham and, 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 and Isaac and Jacob and Joseph and, and uh, Gideon and Barak and Samson and Jephthah and David and Samuel and Jephthah and all the rest of them. They, in the same passage, counted these people who, who were stoned. Was he a person of faith? Somebody who was sawn in two? Was he a person of faith? <laughs> who was slain with the sword? Somebody who wandered. This one is, is the one I think is most relatable to the times in which we live. Who wandered about in sheepskin and goatskin. Does that remind you of uh, soft, soft clothing? Does that remind you of, uh, of a house built into a rock and beside, beside the sea? Does that remind you of some of the testimonies we hear today or the lifestyle of some of our big people of faith that we know today? Does that remind you of estates in, in the uh, um, uh, special areas of uh, bigger cities around the world? You know, and all that. You know, these, these things don't remind... And so I ask myself, do we have old school people of faith versus modern day people of faith? That's the question I ask myself. Or we look at what the Bible uh, has written and say all these things, they are actually faith. Even when they look like they are adverse things, they are adversities, they are uh, 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 unfortunate incidents, they were misfortunes, you know, and things like that. Depending upon the attitude of each person, it was still a faith action. It says these people refused to accept deliverance so that they might obtain a better resurrection. They made a choice. It was in that choice that you see their faith in action. Oh yes, I could, I could, I could leave this thing. I could let it go. I could let it slip. I could easily say this and just escape. But I'm not going to escape because you see, I believe that I'm going to have a better resurrection than the ones who, though they are also the children of God, never went through this kind of a thing. They just died upon their pillow without going. To, I'm going to get a better resurrection than that. That's why I'm making this choice. It was a, so an action of faith. And then the, all these other ones who had trial mockings and beatings and imprisonments, being stoned, being sown into two. It was a choice. They chose not to uh, compromise. They chose not to yield any ground. They said, this is my choice. Let me go through it. It's an honor to suffer for Christ. It's an honor to be killed for Christ. It's an honor, you know, and all that. Some people don't see it, all these things I'm saying today because of the modern day type of faith as, con- as distinct from the old school type of faith that we see inside the you know Hebrews 11. Believe me, everything together, they are different shades, different facets of faith. That's what we learned in the Bible. It's not as if these people do not have faith. They had bigger faith than what some of us are talking about today. I see something else there again. Talks about a better resurrection. Does it not suggest that there are grades of resurrection? That's what it suggests to me. And I think I, I'm saying it so that I can set somebody thinking, set somebody meditating upon that thing and begin to ask yourself, what kind of resurrection do you want to have? Do you want to just have the simple, general, common resurrection that all the brethren will have? You know, uh, there will be a shout and the dead in Christ shall rise first and all the rest of it. Or you are going to have a better resurrection. There must be some grades of it. That's the meaning of this of this statement here. Okay, so... Uh, and then he, he, he spoke about uh, some people who wandered in deserts and mountains, in dens and caves of the earth, wandering around in dens and caves. Does it rem- does, does that compare, you know, to posh villas that some of us, you know, live in? And to us, that is faith. These are the ones who wandered around and were living in caves and uh, eating locusts and wild honey and all that. Were they people of faith? Oh yes, they were people of faith as well. That's their choice. That's how much they love God. That's what how much they were willing to give away for God. But only yesterday or so, I was I was uh, I was wondering the way some people go on about this life and the things of this life. Aren't you going to heaven anymore? Don't, 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 I mean, don't we all believe that heaven is far better than this place? You know, the way we go on and holding on tightly to some of... Isn't there a place for you waiting in heaven anymore? <laughs> Hallelujah. God help us. It says, all these people, having obtained a good testimony through faith, did not receive the promise. They had a good testimony. Can you believe it? That wandering around in desert and dense and cave is a good testimony. Being destitute, afflicted and tormented. Do you know the meaning of destitute? 
It's, it's, it's a good testimony. It says that these people that were stoned and tempted and slain with the sword, wandering about in sheepskin and goatskin, is a great testimony. That's what the Bible is saying. That their testimony is just as big as that of, of, of Samson and of David and of Abraham and of Isaac. They're just as great. Hallelujah. So, they obtain a good testimony through faith. They did not receive the promise. What is the promise being referred to? We're talking about Christ. Christ was the promise. That's what they were all waiting for. That's what they were all looking forward to. It says, but they did not receive the promise of Christ because God has provided something better for us that they should not be made complete apart from us. God was waiting so that when we come around and God brings us into the fold and everything, everything will be completed. Yes, then the Christ will be enjoyed by all of us together. Both the cloud of witnesses can remember that these are the cloud of witnesses. We're going to get there very, very soon. And those of us who are still around at this point in time, I'm not yet joined the class at the cloud of witnesses i think it's okay let's leave it here let's uh, wish you a very very good day at work and please remember to help us to grow this channel give us thumbs up please um, subscribe if you are new here and you think you enjoyed this one you can check our other videos as well and then if you do please press that bell icon so that you can be notified when our posts come up thank you very very much one more time share share and share as much as possible